Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Elle, and today I am going to be doing my October favorites. Now, you know, I don't do these very often because it takes me a long time to find ones that I actually want to share with you guys, that I give you guys my vote of confidence in every single product that I am, um, you know, showing you here today. No one is paying me to say any of this. So all of these truly are something that I use every single day and have been obsessed with since uh, before October but obviously really kind of um, wanted to highlight them in this video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's do it. All right, so my first product that I want to chat with you guys about is we'll do a little bit of skincare. This is brand new. This is my second bottle from It Cosmetics. This is the Micellar Water Anti-Aging 3-in-1 Glow Tonic is what they're called. It's a skin brightening, radiance booster, anti-aging treatment essence, and skin uh, softening micellar water. Now, what's great about this is that the ingredients in here obviously brighten. They're anti-aging. It's a micellar water, so I use this as my cleansing step before I put my essence on. Um, but it also, it has ingredients in here that are fermented. Um, and fermentation basically makes the anti-aging ingredients in here smaller so they can penetrate deeper into your skin. It does not burn my eyes. It just feels really amazing on the skin because it not only is a cleanser, a micellar water, but it's also an essence. So you can use this like you would in essence. I leave it on my skin. I just use a cotton ball, wipe it all over my skin after I've done my double cleanse and obviously cleanse my face at night and what um, I mean in the morning and um, I have been loving it I definitely see my skin to be more hydrated and more bright and all around some goodness and the bottles just really pretty too so good good uh, this is one of my new favorites you know that I am obviously it's some new favorites because it's in my favorites video um, I am not super into primers I just don't I wear the hangover primer from Too Faced and that's pretty much as, as far as I get or the uh, blur primer from Milk but this is a new product from one of my very favorite skincare companies called Ren it is a green based line it is a um, cruelty free line and what it's free of the list of it is longer than what's actually in it so this line is extremely clean but they came out with this uh, primer called a perfect canvas and this actually has no silicone in it which is amazing it has agave nectar in it instead of silicone to help things stick to it so whenever you put foundation on it helps adhere it um, it also has a bunch of skin loving ingredients in it so it's not only a skincare product but it is also an amazing primer it has oil absorbing properties in it but it's not super mattifying so actually everyone can use this dry normal oily uh, all of the above and it just is a beautiful beautiful product love this product it is not hydrating though like in uh, some of the other uh, primers that I use it literally just feels like a lightweight serum so it doesn't even feel like I have anything on so that's why I also have been loving it all right, and then um, I've been using this quite a bit lately. This is the Bosha Instant Illuminizing Moisture Moisturizer. Um, it is an illuminizing primer, I'll call it, but it's not necessarily a primer. I just use it after my moisturizer. Now, again, we know I am normal to dry, so my skin absolutely loves a little extra hydration and a little extra glow. This is something that if you are more oily, I did, wouldn't recommend, but anyone from combo to dry would absolutely love this. It's a lightweight, illuminizing um, moisturizer, what they call it. I don't know what else to call it, but it has a very kind of a pearlescent vibe to it. I just used it recently in my video of my full face newness, and I absolutely love it. It's, again, like I said, very lightweight and it just gives a very glowy radiance to the skin that is um, kind of undetectable but you can definitely see it under foundation all right moving on to foundation <laughs> last Friday I tried out the w7 photo shoot foundation now the ingredients aren't amazing but they're not the worst they're not the best um, but what are you going to expect with a $6 foundation? So <laughs> I've been wearing this kind of a lot right recently and been kind of loving it. So this definitely had to make it into my October favorites. I mean, it's $6 if you can get past the ingredients. 
All right, and then my last one, which I've been wearing and I've been taking on vacation with me everywhere, is the Urban Decay's Naked Skin One and Done. I just put it on with my hands when I kind of want that no makeup makeup look, and it just looks radiant. It has SPF 20. I just am a big fan of this. I have been using this religiously as well. So this is such a beautiful product if you're looking for a great tinted moisturizer BB cream that has a light to medium coverage. And I did do a foundation Friday on this, so if you want to, I will link that playlist in the uh, video somewhere around here. All right, so a few um, new products from uh, L'Oreal. If you guys want me to do like what's new with L'Oreal, because they've come out with some amazing new products recently that I've been trying. Eyeshadows, beautiful glow powders, um, these amazing liquid lips and um, these really great um, eyeliners. I think that that would be a really cool video for me to do, so if you want to, comment below and I will get that going for you, because like, I could do a whole face L'Oreal or something like that. Um, but these are amazing. These are the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. They stay on so well. I mean, hours and hours and hours and hours. They come in a wide variety of colors, of course. Um, they don't feel drying to the lips. They don't dry down exactly all the way matte, which I absolutely love, but they're transfer resistant, so it's just fantastic. This is one of my very favorite new colors that they came out with, and it's 368, and it is a beautiful fall holiday red. That is a kind of blue, cool undertone, but has a little bit of orange in it, so it's kind of a universal red. Check it out, you guys. And then in my Halloween tutorial, I use the gray version of this. This is the L'Oreal, the Super Slim uh, Liquid Eyeliner. I just think they're so easy to use. Uh, the gray one is beautiful. If you want just a very light, you know, definition around the eye, even obviously lighter than um, brown, that is one to reach for, but these have been definitely now a staple in my bathroom, and I'm not a liquid uh, liner fan, to be honest with you. I am not a fan of that kind of harsh line, but for some reason, these are really easy to use. They look really beautiful. They stay, um, so I've been pretty impressed with that. All right, my last two makeup items are the, <laughs> you'll be seeing this in quite a few videos, and um, so I had to include it in my favorites. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil in Alkaline. It is the most beautiful, purpley, I have it on my eyes now, and it just smudges out so beautiful. I just think it is a beautiful color that's very universal for a lot of different eye colors, but I just love that whole, the whole line of um, eyeliners, this 24-7. I just think they're gorgeous, really well made, obviously cruelty-free, and um, if you can, can't find a color that you don't like there, then I don't know, but there's so many colors, and I've been a huge fan of these lately. All right, and then my last one, and you can tell it's so used because I have lost this part and I have lost this part. Um, this is what I've been using these days. This is the Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit, and I am in number three. I used to use Precisely a lot, but this one has a triangular tip that I feel just kind of fills in the brows a little bit better just for my liking. Um, so if you guys haven't tried the Goof Proof Pencil, and I actually think it actually lasts longer than the Precisely, um, but if you haven't tried this one, definitely do. It will definitely stick to the hair and the skin, which is what I need because I need quite a bit of filling in on this side. All right, so then my last two are some luxury products that were definitely sent to me, but I feel I need to incorporate them because I feel sometimes it's amazing to splurge on yourself. And if they were not sent to me, I would have bought them myself. So the first one is this new Ralph Lauren fragrance. If you don't know, I am a huge fragrance junkie. Um, I go through fragrance quite a bit and I have tried everything under the sun. One of my very favorites is Black Opium uh, by YSL. I also love, um, I, I think it's called called Black Orchid? No. I forget. It's a, by a company called Nest. It's the one with like the purple flowers on it. I just think it's such a beautiful fragrance. So I like things that are sweet. I like things that smell like candy. I like things that smell like vanilla and sandalwood and 
um, some different interesting fragrances. I absolutely love By the Fireplace. Um, I'll put the company below, but um, there's a there's a, a, a fragrance called By the Fireplace, and it literally smells like a fireplace, but with vanilla in it. So I have been a longtime fragrance junkie, um, but Ralph Lauren was so kind to send me this. They actually have my initials engraved down here, and I'm such a sap that it actually made me cry because, you know, YouTube has been a goal of mine and a dream of mine and for somebody to send me something as lovely as this and then engrave my little initials here I just it just was really special to me um and I just feel very blessed and so I just want to thank um Ralph Lauren for sending me this and you know what the great part is is it's a beautiful fragrance um it has notes of a tuber wood let's see here I want to re make sure I have it right um, it has notes of a bold tuberu rose, tuber rose, and vibrant woods. Um, and basically it has also too, in, for me on my body, it has a little bit of that sweet vanilla fragrance. And I just have been wearing it every day and really, really enjoy it. <laughs> when I pick my daughter up from school, she always goes, Mommy, you smell good. I'm like, thanks, baby. And it like reminds me of like an old whiskey bottle or an old flask. It's just a really beautiful. I feel really special when I when I use it. All right, and then finally, my last one is something that I've talked about um, in uh, very many months ago, actually, on a favorites, and it is my Teddy Blake handbag. I just absolutely love this handbag. Um, I am not only a fragrance junkie, but I am also a handbag fanatic. Um, I love handbags because I only buy one like once a year. They're usually between $300 and $500, but that's all I use the whole year. And, and to be honest with you, probably for two years. Um, so I spend money on a handbag. It's usually black and I want it to be really good quality because I use it every single day and bring it with me everywhere. My daughter's snacks are packed in here, her water, um, uh, all of my essentials. It's just a handbag is really important to me because I don't carry like a diaper bag anymore because she is three. Um, so I need something durable. So when they sent me this, I was, uh, this is like one of those, another ones that, that gets sent to me and I just felt really um, blessed and, and humbled and thankful because this is something that I definitely use every single day. It is with me day in and day out. Um, again, I'm not trying to sell anybody on this. These are just my favorites and I truly want to bring you guys some things that I absolutely love and feel that it's worth you looking into. Um, I absolutely love the attention to detail. This is an Italian made handbag. Um, it's very, very durable, very easy to clean. Um, I absolutely love the little clasp here to keep it closed. It um, kind of widens on the side. So if it's just me, I'll keep it closed like this. If I'm with Gray and I have all of her water bottles and things like that, it obviously expands for me. Um, it's very easy to hold. The attention to detail and the craftsmanship of this bag is really something special. It's like one of those timeless pieces that you know that this will last you forever. Um, and I also can wear it with anything. So also, I'm not one of those, like, I don't know, maybe you guys are, but I, my mother used to change her handbag per outfit. And I always wanted to be that. So I have like a very big, uh, not very big, but like, you know, just nothing bags that I bought at like H&M or, you know, thrift stores or or whatever in my closet and I use none of them. The only one I use is this typical black beautiful bag um, and I just don't change my bag with my outfits. So I feel like this bag goes with everything and it's just classic and it doesn't clash with anything that I am wearing because I don't want to think about it. I just want to look put together as much as possible and I don't want to think about it. So um, that is it for this month of October. I hope you guys had a great one and I will definitely be working on some exciting things for the holidays and yeah. So let me know what your favorites were for this month, if there's anything I need to check out and I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye you guys.
All right, so if you stayed to the end, I am super excited to share with you a little sneak peek of my large giveaway that I am doing in December. I am trying to reach 40,000 subscribers on YouTube and 20,000 followers on Instagram. So as soon as I do that, I'm hoping to hit those in December. I'm going to be doing a really large giveaway. I'm actually going to be doing three holiday giveaways to my subscribers and to my um, to my fans on Instagram. And I'm going to be giving away the following, but I'm also going to be giving away a lot more, but I wanted to give you a sneak peek. First of all, I picked this up from Sephora and this has some of my very favorite beauty um, skincare kind of goodies in it. And it is a, like they have like a nightly mask, they have a um, moisturizer, this has my the Kate Somerville Retinol eye cream in it or eye serum which is bomb um my husband loves these glam glow um um mask and and cleanser obviously the tlc drunk elephant um and just some really great stuff so this will be part of it i will also be giving away the sephora favorites glow for it which is some of my very favorite highlighters um and it has some really great the sizes of them are really really awesome and I'm also going to be giving away, which I haven't touched, is the new Urban Decay Vice Lip Palette. It was sent to me, um, but it has not been used, and I want it to go to a good home. So I'm definitely going to be including that, as well as I'm going to be giving away one of the new Origins Plant Scripts Anti-Aging Power Serum. I've been just starting to use this. I'll let you know how it goes, but so far... This has been a beautiful, beautiful serum. Definitely firming and plumping, which I absolutely love. Um, and then there's a whole host of other things that I have over here, but I just wanted to share a few of those to get you excited. So please share my channel and my Instagram with your friends and family so we can get those giveaways going. Um, I also am trying to work with some of my very favorite brands so they can uh, chip in to this giveaway and it can be huge and really give you guys an amazing love gift from me to you guys. And I'm going to try to do three of them. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's love me to you.